I'm just gonna say this. If you're a nerd that geeks out over the Alien franchise, like me, we get peak geek moments. Peak geek. Androids, yes. Face huggers, yes. Xenomorphs, yes. Acid blood. Peak geek, yes, yes, yes. So, long story short, this is about a girl and her robot. They live on a mining planet owned by the Wayland yutani Corporation, where unfortunately working is living. It's bad. This colony isn't even exposed to sunlight. An opportunity presents itself for her to leave and build a better life on another planet. The people giving her this opportunity is an old group of friends of hers. But there is a catch. This opportunity involves a space heist. You son of a bitch, I'm in. Where they need to grab something from an abandoned space station. But guess what? It's not abandoned. It's been occupied by an unknown species. Something alien. <laughs> Kaylee Spaney, she's our protagonist. Kaylee Spaley, Kaylee Spaney, Kaylee Spaley. She finds herself in a situation where she's pretty desperate to get off of this rock even team up with some people that she has previously separated herself from. Then she gets caught up in this life or death situation where she's just trying to survive. She's having a rough couple of days, for sure. As far as Kaylee Spaley's performance, she has big shoes to fill, and a lot of the weight of this movie falls on her shoulders. And considering that, I think she succeeded with all of it. She was good. She didn't do anything that really blew me away, but she did do what she needed to. She still has some room to grow as an actress, and I look forward to it. As I said before, she has her very own android, played by David Johnson. Listen to me. This dude fucking killed it. His performance was fantastic. He's an older android with some glitches, and throughout this, he has to deliver different types of performances. I think his character was the standout of this movie. I really love seeing an android with a full character arc. We'll leave it at that. As far as the rest of the crew, good performances by a group of people in their 20s. I wasn't overly invested in their characters, because at this point... This is Alien. Come on. Yeah. Okay, I went into this with a hunger, a need, a yearning for what was lacking in Prometheus and Alien Covenant. I wanted some fucking gore. I need violence. Give me scary aliens in confined spaces. Alien Romulus gave me that and I'm so fucking happy about it. As an overall movie in the Alien franchise, I loved this shit. Respect to Ridley Scott. But when he created Alien in 1979, he was a director in his prime looking to build worlds and shock audiences. The last two movies were about him being in his 70s and 80s, exploring the existence of God and creation. Bro. Give me some scary, gross alien shit. Not giant, naked muscle men. Enter Fede Alvarez. The dude that gave us Evil Dead 2013 and Don't Breathe takes Alien, strips it down, back to the basics, and just delivers a survival horror movie. That's all I wanted. Thank you. Anything that I wanted to see, Fede gave it to me. Blood, tension, weird, gross sci-fi shit. It's all there. This movie was made by a fan of the franchise, and you can tell by the attention to detail. The world that he throws us in is straight out of the original. The aesthetics are clunky and chunky. Big mechanical vehicles and gears and dirt and rust. We get these big, glorious sets from scene to scene, and I couldn't get enough of it. And as big as they are, in the right atmosphere, they feel claustrophobic. The authenticity of the world building here is just... Peak. Geek. He gives us those big, beautiful shots of space with no sound, reminding us that space is a vacuum that we can't survive in. How is space so huge, yet so claustrophobic and dangerous at the same time? Fede Alvarez made me feel that shit. Also, the Wayland yutani Corporation and its economy? This is a company that we've mostly only heard about and seen the logo on and met representatives of. Sweet logo too, by the way. Here we get to see how a corporation this enormous 
basically enslaves people to get them stuck in this endless work cycle. We get that corporate greed at its finest, trying to contain an alien life form that can't be controlled. Hubris at its best. Yeah, cinematography and directing, they're great. Let's talk about the story. This is a simple story within a big alien universe, okay? It was created by a guy that's a huge fan and he put love into it. That being said, as an alien fan, you gotta be mindful of the coulda, woulda, shouldas. Characters could have done this. They should have done this. Just keep in mind, this was made by a huge alien fan that somehow incorporated every alien movie into his alien movie. And he takes all that alien lore to create his own simple story. It's its own story and it's also a smorgasbord of the rest. There were some things I absolutely loved to see. There were some other things that I wasn't so happy to see. But as an ode to the full franchise, <laughs> bravo, <laughs> job well done. If any of you by chance are sitting there thinking, hey McGuff, what would you do with an alien movie? Guess what? I made an entire video a few years ago explaining what I would do with an alien movie. I left the link in the description. Check it out. Let me know what you think. That brings me to my issues with Alien Romulus. Number one, somehow this dude managed to pay tribute to Prometheus and Alien Resurrection at the same time. The result was something that could have been a different flavor that would have appealed to me more. But hey, it was weird and gross, so I'll take it. Speaking of gross shit, I was going in expecting Evil Dead levels of gore. We didn't quite get that here, but I was still satisfied. My absolute biggest gripe, the only actual issue I have here that's not a nitpick. There's so much amazing practical effects that when you get CGI, there is a character here with a CGI face. Uh, almost like a de-aged face, you could say. It looks like shit. It looked really bad. At first, I ignored it, but after a few scenes with this character, I just couldn't help it. I'm like, fuck, this looks bad. When you see it, you'll know what I'm talking about. That's it, though. I think my issues are pretty minor, and I had a blast watching it. The tension and suspense were great. I was fully invested the whole time. I would say, if you're a fan of the first two Alien movies, you're gonna love this. When you look at the entire full scope of the Alien franchise, for sure, this is top three for me. This just fits right in there. It's awesome. Good shit. Peak Geek. See ya. Subscribe. So the first time everyone saw Prometheus and realized it wasn't actually an alien movie, we're all sitting there like, what the fuck, man? I can just see Ridley Scott sitting there in his mid-70s. You guys ever think about who created us? Let's make a movie about it. Call it an alien prequel.